Hello everyone, Kovjus here now, and we are playing Gwent again. Um, but we are actually not doing this live recorded, we're doing this a uh, pre-recorded, and I'm talking over it. I thought it was a pretty good game to uh, to record, because uh, as you can tell, we are both, um, both got the really, really high level emblems. I think that's, uh, yeah, Veteran. He's a bounty hunter, I'm a veteran, and I mean, I think... Mine was top 100 in the world, and he was top 250. So we're both pretty experienced at this game. And I think we both were testing out new decks, and I definitely was, because I was playing out, I was trying out a new Warcry deck. Uh, you know, just to, with the new update, you see they've, more far gain is good. So I thought... You know, let me try a, a Warcry deck, because I think they've boosted a few of the units, specifically for the Warcry uh, strategy. So I thought, I'll give it a go. So that's what I did anyway. I uh, gave the Warcry strategy a go. I haven't actually played that uh, much in the open beta. Played it, played it quite a lot in the closed beta. But I didn't play it. I haven't played Warcry since pretty much the last couple of days in the open beta. So this is me trying it out for new, really. Right, so... Um, what I try and do here is try and put all the damaged units on the melee row, so obviously the Warcry can get it, because Warcry was a uh, special card, but now it's an actual unit, which is... Kind of bad because it has seven strength, but not as good because it's only the three units to the left. So it's not as good in that perspective. So I decoyed. Um, so oh, what's the name? No yeah, I, I decoyed the silver card at the top. I uh, can't remember the name. Uh, yeah. It's gone. But yeah, I decoyed her so I could get some strength on the board. But I kind of messed up because I forgot that uh, she would not be damaged so I couldn't buff her with the war cry. But it didn't matter that much. So what I did here is I placed the Marauder. Uh, getting ready for the war cry, but... Um, before I did the war cry, I played Kraken Crate, uh, so I could obviously buff the three units to the left. But now I definitely used Igni because they knew they knew I had Igni. So I quickly got rid of the 18 strength card in the middle row. Uh, to be fair, I think a, a, a 22 strength from one gold card is pretty good value, so I won't complain with that. And then he used Igni on me, but it weren't, uh, you know, it weren't too bad. He gained a, a 16 strength uh, gold card from that, but mine was a bit better, so I'm happy about that. And there we go. Uh, we've got three units damaged in the melee row. So next I was going to play the Kraken Crate Warrior. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, he used uh, Leffo. And I thought, yeah, that's it. To be fair, I thought I lost the whole game because of this. I thought, that's it, my strategy's gone. I actually totally forgot about that. So I straight away passed because there was no chance of me coming back from that. And then obviously he used Diamond right on bottom on it. No surprise there. So I definitely did the right thing as in uh, passing there. Uh, but, you know, I thought... You know, it's not too bad, he's one card down, uh, but I have lost the first round. But it, it's not too bad. So, I think he straight away passed here. Yeah, he did, I remember. He straight away passed and I just used a, I just played a war cry to win this, which actually helped me out a bit. So now we're down to three cards each, uh, heading into the last round, which to be fair I think is pretty good considering first round 
he absolutely killed me with that left hook play. And I drew, I drew a good card there. So all four cards really I'm happy with. So I, uh, I left them. So I was going to revive uh, what do you need? Ju Juata. I think that's how you pronounce it. Juata and Dimun. But I uh, resurrected her anyway. Because I thought I'll probably get the most strength. I was either debating whether, you know... Like either, well, I was definitely going to get her now, but I was thinking, have I done the wrong move? Because maybe I should choose Le Lefo later on. No one else dares face me. But I think I made the right move there anyway. We serve her who is virgin mother and I just did the archer, which was a problem because I couldn't do much damage to him from that. But it didn't make much of a big deal. No one can hide from and then he uses a spy on me. So then what my knowledge is um, here now is uh, if I use the light long ship damage to spy, then I can use the war cry on the spy plus uh, Juata so I can get more, uh, more strength from it. But then he actually puts my Jurata to base strength, which I thought, oh god, this might not be enough to win the game. So I did that anyway. So at this moment in time, I've got 50 points, and he's got 14, but I'm still gaining one point each round from the light long ship. And then he had one more card to play, and I actually win from it, which I was actually quite surprised because of the drain. He absolutely took me out the first round. But I thought that was a nice uh, bit of gameplay to record as we we're both uh, really high uh, levels in the closed beta. Not sure what he is now. Uh, but yeah, so we both were very experienced with the game. And that was me trying out the new Warcry deck. But now I'm just going to show you uh, the deck I used if you want to use it. But that's totally up to use. Um, it's... It does have a lot of problems against the Dwarf deck, where they uh, use Resilience for the next round. That is a problem. So I'm trying to change it up a bit where it can, you know, play against Dwarfs. But apart from that, it's actually not too bad. But I do need to add a few cards to stop the Dwarfs, where they keep adding Resilience to it. And they actually seem to win the first round most of the time. And if they don't, we have to. I usually have to play a lot more cards in them. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Um, see you in the next video.